Hello again everyone, Edward Learn back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be giving you my Scorpio December 2019 horoscope forecast part one of two. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, first thing up is as far as December goes, the sun will be in Sagittarius from the 1st until the 22nd. So the second house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, uh, there could be a strong concentration of energy, focus, and attention on one's possessions, resources, uh, finances, uh, monetary matters, self-worth, self-esteem, and values. Given that this is Sagittarius energy, a lot of this may be done with a lot of exuberance, a lot of expansive optimism, uh, a lot of positivity, enthusiasm, and um, also, too, this could be done, I mean, there could be a focus on really expanding one's horizons at this time in terms of uh, generating income, or it could be, or in, perhaps in some cases, even if us, it might shine the light on some uh, Sagittarius possession that may have been missing in, in some isolated cases, such as something with archery or just something with sports in general. It could be some law literature, anything that could be uh, Sagittarius related, a travel guide. Um, so uh, anyway, um, but this is, uh, but the next thing I want to uh, get at is this is also um, a time, okay, so the sun will be in Capricorn as far as December goes from the 22nd until the 31st. So the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So there could be a strong concentration of energy, focus, and attention on one's communications, uh, the rational mind, uh, assimilating information, siblings, cousins, neighbors, short journeys local transportation and early even the early education perhaps people you may have known very well that figure prominently in your early education but uh and given that this is capricorn energy this may be done with a lot of consistency a lot of methodical energy with a lot of responsibility seriousness certain intransigence uh perhaps in very orthodox and conventional uh manner this could be something too in some cases this could shine a light so to speak on a capricorn sibling cousin or neighbor it could be a capricorn sun moon or ascendant person or simply one that embodies capricorn traits uh, at this time and this could be a time too where there could be a very strong focus on very serious communications or, uh, or or focus on business communications at this time or ones concerning politics or something of a political uh, nature. So anyway, um, and given you're talking about Capricorn and again, third house energy, I mean, you're talking about, um, I mean, this could be a time to, it could also shine the light, so to speak, on some Capricorn person you may have known from your early education. Again, it could be a Capricorn, sun, moon, or ascended person, or simply one that embodies uh, Capricorn uh, characteristics. So um, anyway, well, the next thing up, there will be a full moon in Gemini on December 12th. So the eighth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, in some cases you're talking about, I mean, full moons can represent the completion or culmination of something. This could represent the completion or culmination of a writing that may be astrological or something connected with the occult or supernatural, something with taxes or insurance or death, anything that could be eighth house related. It could also be uh, the unveiling or revelation of uh, perhaps somebody that may have been very vacillating, mercurial, gossiping, uh, mischievous uh, person that might be a sexual partner, someone you're in an intimate relationship with, or maybe even revelation of some prevarication in connection with the shared resources situation or credit issue uh, at this time. It might be a revelation or veiling of some mischievous activity in connection with a credit uh, credit card issue or some kind of um, or even some insurance related uh, matter uh, at this time but at the same time this could be a time too 
we are talking about full moons in astrology. It could be a time where one becomes tired, full, or simply exasperated, full of a certain uh, situation. It could be a, uh, something, too, where you might become tired, full, or exasperated or at an overly mercurial or very changeable, vacillating, unpredictable shared resources situation. Or maybe, or, or maybe people lying to you or there's some prevarication regarding getting some kind of emotional, moral, monetary support and you're maybe this is a time where you simply become tired, fed up and full of that, uh, so to speak. And uh, this could also be a time too where you might be ending perhaps a situation where you're in an intimate or sexual relationship. It could be with a Gemini, Sun, Moon or Ascendant person or simply one that embodies a uh, Gemini uh, characteristics at this time or even the completion or culmination of some communication transformation at this time such as maybe learning a different language or learning to speak uh, one language more fluently or, or that being or another language being a dominant language over the one maybe you previously uh, spoke fluently and consistently so in some um, some cases it could be some voice transformation or some way that your your speaking might be transformed but that could be of course very isolated um, so anyway well, the next thing up there is going to be a new moon solar eclipse in Capricorn on December 26th. So the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, I mean, you're talking about, I mean, of course, a solar eclipse in astrology is like an amplified or magnified new moon. It's something where you, uh, I mean, you're, it's basically like a new moon, but I mean, but it's, but it's more intensified. It, I believe it could have more protracted sustained effect. It could have life altering implications, I believe as well. And it could be very serendipitous. This could be a time too, is like one example I'll throw out there. I mean, it could be like, you could be looking at some, you know, new restriction in connection with local transportation, something wrong with your vehicle. Say you go somewhere and get it, try to get it repaired or what have you. And it leads to some maybe business connection that could wind up being very uh, prosperous. Of course, business could be Capricorn and communication is the third house. Restriction is Capricorn and local transportation, of course, the third house. Those are, but that is just an isolated example. But you understand what I'm saying by this example. It could be a time too where you might, in some cases, you might be welcoming in a um, a new. Uh, could be a Capricorn um, sibling at this time. Or it could be a Capricorn neighbor that might have a very, uh, might be uh, someone that has a very significant impact on your life. It could be a Capricorn sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Capricorn characteristics as far as the neighbor example goes. It could also be a time, too, where you might just start um, at this time. This could be uh, the beginning of really just maybe having a lot more structure and discipline in your communications uh, at this time, Scorpio. And it might be a time, I mean, where you might be getting more consistent communications with others, which could lead to something very positive, even prosperous uh, in your life. And also, too, I mean, it could be a time where you might embark on a new business, uh, perhaps with a neighbor, with a cousin or a sibling or somebody that you might have known from your uh, early uh, education at this time. And, and, and really, this is a, this is just something that uh, I mean, could be again, it could be something that could be very uh, life altering. And you're talking about, I mean, new moons, uh, full, and especially when you're talking about uh, solar eclipse, it could be really a strong abundance and surfite of energy to get uh, something started, or it could be the beginning of some Capricorn writing that you may do uh, at this time. Something associated with Capricorn, it could be something with accounting or computer programming, business, politics, something political, something about mountain climbing, something about reaching the pinnacle of success, attaining ambitions, career, something about attaining career related matters. And this could be something that could have life altering implications, something that could be like a very uh, a good book that might be something that could be very pro you know give you some prosperity perhaps now and a lot of that could be predicating depend on aspects and the chart just makes a positive aspect sex star trying to your natal venus or jupiter something like that or if it's hitting your part of fortune even that could be something which could increase that propensity so anyway next thing up 
Well, Mercury will be in Scorpio as far as December goes from the 1st until the 9th. So the first house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, uh, you might find yourself more voluble and loquacious at this time, more so than usual, Scorpio. You might find yourself talking about yourself to some degree in your Scorpio characteristics, such as being very uh, incisive and probing, uh, provocative, deep, uh, deep thinking, perhaps. Uh, you know, being, and also it could be a time to where you find yourself talking a lot more, being more voluble regarding Scorpio subjects such as astrology, we call supernatural locksmithing, things that are deep in general. Hold on a moment, people. You may find yourself talking about transforming the physical body in some cases. Now, as I've stated before, this can and also Scorpio new beginnings, such as doing something with surgery, locksmithing, the occult, astrology, supernatural, embalming, anything Scorpio related. And uh, as I've stated previously, that Mercury can also be about siblings. This could be about Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant people, or simply ones that embody Scorpio traits. And might figure more prominently in your new beginnings, uh, matters with your early um, childhood, perhaps people you, that may have been prominent in your early childhood. Uh, they could be uh, making um, first impressions on others and um, you know, it matters with your physical body perhaps as well, especially if this is in your uh, first house, actually in your first house, uh, in your natal chart, in your outlook <clears throat> as well. So those are some ways that this could manifest and uh, and pan out uh, at this time and whether they actually have a positive or negative impact on you a lot of that could be predicated and dependent on aspects that are made to points in your chart a sextile or trying to natal jupiter uh, could indicate they could be very auspicious in a lot of these matters but at same adverse aspect your natal saturn they might be really a little bit more to your detriment and maybe cause some difficulties in those matters so anyway <clears throat> Next thing up, Mercury will be in Sagittarius as far as December goes from the 9th until the 29th. So the second house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, your mind may be very motivated toward generating income and, and uh, increasing your possessions, your self-esteem and self-worth, and really through the power of positive thinking, perhaps Scorpio. It could also be a time where you might be communicating about um, Sagittarius money-making endeavors, such as something with the law or religion or philosophy or higher education, something with horses, stables, sports, um, traveling, uh, you know, maybe long distance traveling, working as a pilot, anything that could be uh, translation, anything Sagittarius uh, related at this time. And also this could be about a lot of philosophical discussions on uh, really matters pertaining to your self-worth, self-esteem, how you feel about yourself, people you may know at the place you generate uh, income. And as I've stated before, Mercury can also be about siblings. This could be about Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant people, or simply ones that embody Sagittarius characteristics that might figure more prominently your self-esteem, your self-worth, how you feel about yourself, your possessions, your resources, uh, money generated, and whether they're beneficial or more to your detriment. A lot of that could be predicated independent on aspects that are made to points in your chart. If it makes, say, a positive a sex dart on your natal Jupiter, that might be more auspicious in those matters, but say an adverse aspect to your natal Saturn, it may go in the other direction. They be, may be more detrimental than positive in those matters uh, at this time. And anyway, well, the next thing uh, up is this could be, um, you know, Mercury will be in Capricorn as far as December goes from the 29th until the 31st. So the third house is what will be emphasized and highlight. Now at this time, I mean, this could be a time where you might uh, be communicating a lot about more uh, business communications, political uh, communications at this time, learning, uh, assimilating information, um, with people, with your neighbors, your siblings, your cousins, and, and really uh, in doing so in a very methodical manner, very conventional style. 
And you might be thinking, uh, the thing is, when you're talking about Mercury in Capricorn, you're talking about the third house, and this is where you're talking about the accidental dignity as far as transit may go. And this would be a time where you might be, you know, a little bit more loquacious than usual. And talking about perhaps manifold Capricorn related subjects such as dentistry and information technology, business politics, the government uh, at this time. And as I've stated before, Mercury can also be about siblings. This could be about Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant people, or simply ones that embody Capricorn traits that might figure more prominently your local transportation, your short journeys, information that you're assimilating, uh, people prominent in your early uh, education. And um, this could be, I mean, that those are some ways that this may manifest and pan out. Uh, at this time for you Scorpio and this could be a time to where you're having a lot of serious discussions with siblings with cousins and neighbors and people that were prominent in your early education at this time and maybe even talking about some restrictions and limitations at this time with local uh, as far as local transportation and short journeys uh, may go um, Anyway, last but not least, Venus will be in Capricorn as far as December goes from the 1st until the 20th. So the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, you might find yourself spending very conservatively uh, on third house related matters such as communication devices or uh, siblings, cousins, neighbors at this time. If you're unattached at this time, Scorpio, you may connect with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant person or simply one that embodies Capricorn traits. It might be somebody that you may have known in your early education. It could be a childhood sweetheart, someone prominent in your neighborhood, in your short journeys, your local travels. Um, and it could also or somebody that you um, you may have had some day-to-day -day communications with for some time now this could also be a time or you might uh, fall in love perhaps with an older person in your neighborhood at this time and anyway it could also be a time where you value very uh, consistent orthodox um, conventional uh, serious uh, communications with siblings with cousins with neighbors at this time and it can also be a time too where I mean this could be about the enjoyment of Capricorn uh, related things with siblings with cousins neighbors people you might know in your short journeys it could be uh, people in your early education it could be things of a political matter or, or playing political board games or some um, some board game that's associated with the government or business uh, board games or computer games uh, something maybe with crafts or something or matters with information uh, technology mountain climbing anything that could be uh, Capricorn related such as I mean could be even something that's connected with structure such as putting like those little small die cast cars together something of that nature so anyway people that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for my Scorpio December 2019 horoscope forecast part one of two stay tuned next time where I'll be giving you my Scorpio December 2019 horoscope forecast part two of two until next time people Edwin Leonard saying stay well.